Hello, welcome to Home CPD. In this short video, we're going to be assessing the importance of seating plans in your teaching. Now, seating plans have come a long way. In the past, you used to draw it on a piece of paper. Now, you can very easily insert table on a Word document or PowerPoint and create your seating plan like this, typing your names on there. Or if you're really lucky, you'll have a system like class charts, which will automatically do your seating plans for you. However, I would never use automatically generated seating plans because the computer software doesn't know the kids like you do. Now, some key takeaways from when you are doing seating plans is every single lesson you teach should have a seating plan and this goes if you are covering a lesson for somebody you should be given their seating plan it's your probably your primary tool to ensure that students behave and work to the best of their ability and also if a child has sat where you told have told them to already subconsciously they're following your instructions all right and non-compliance with sitting where they're told is pure defiance all right now Data is super important. Where are you sitting students with SEND or EAL? You need to think strategically of where to sit these students. Now, the most obvious is sit them in a space where the support staff and yourself can access these students. But can you be more creative and consider what other students they could sit next to that might really benefit them? Where are you going to sit your more challenging students? Now, this seems to be everybody's primary focus. The kids we know about first are the most challenging. Are you going to sit them at the back so that they can't distract anybody else, but you're on the risk of them maybe being a bit daft at the back, or are you going to sit them right next to you at the front? It sounds old-fashioned, but boy-girl generally will diffuse a lot of situations, but you need to think carefully about where you're sitting your students. This one, speak with other colleagues about students. If you're starting in September with a year eight class, have you spoke to their year seven teacher and said, well, how do you get on with this class? Who, you know, do I need to be mindful of in terms of SEND, EAL, pupil premium and behavior? And chances are you might have heard rumors about kids and the other teacher will say, no, they're actually really love your subject, for example, geography. Sit them here, it will really, really help. And throughout the year, at the first start of the year, you might think this class is beautiful, but then the weeds start to come through the cracks in the pavement. Go and speak to other teachers. How would you do this? All right? And finally, seating plans are fluid. They don't need to stay the same. All right? Sometimes your seating plan will not work. I have changed the seating plan, and I thought I have made a relatively good class into quite a naughty class. That's fine, just change it again. But key takeaways, every lesson should have a seat.